Daddy, I'm so sorry. What's up, guys? Today we're gonna be watching the top 10 most dangerous photo slides, which I don't really recommend. You go on, so let's watch this. Welcome back to List Jumbo. You might not think of danger when you think of water slides. Yeah, I don't really think of that. Uh, uh, okay, yeah, I just realized that, that looks pretty dangerous. In fact, you might assume that water slides are safe, but the water slides on this list will have you rethinking your assumptions. All right. Here are the top 10 most dangerous water slides. Um, can we make a meme out of this face really quick? I'll make it later, I'll just screenshot it. Number 10, Insano, Brazil Beach Park, Brazil. Oh my god! The Insano slide is insanely steep and is located at the beach of Porto das Dunas in Aquiraz in Brazil. The 41 meter high slide sends its sliders down a near vertical drop and into an exit pool below. The slide opened in 1989 and when it did, it was the tallest water slide in the world. No kidding, that thing looks like a hundred at least a hundred feet tall the slide is not for the faint of heart though in fact employees at the water park say that they enjoy watching the sliders panic at the top of the slide okay that is just messed up and that they have even seen sliders cry while sliding the ride is only five seconds long but because it is so steep some sliders lose contact with the slide and actually become airborne during the drop because the slide is so dangerous, sliders are instructed on how to ride the slide. They I mean, I mean, I get instructed how on um, how to ride a water slide. I mean, it's, that's kind of normal. Remain on their backs with their arms and legs crossed. The slide, which gives a great view of the Atlantic Ocean at the top, is no longer the tallest slide in the world, but it remains the fastest as sliders can reach speeds of a heart-pounding 65 miles per hour. Okay, 65 miles per hour is actually really fast for a water slide. Number nine, the Aqua Loop at Wet n Wild. I've also heard of this one. I've heard this one is pretty dangerous as well. Gold Coast, Australia. The Aqua Loop is a near vertical water slide that sends its riders down a 10 meter drop and into an inclined. Okay, already that looks insane on how fast that is going. Just look. Cool. During the seven second slide. Yeah, it takes seven seconds for them to get down. Riders can reach a speed of 60 kilometers per hour and can explain. I mean, I'm pretty sure 60 kilometers an hour is like 37 miles per hour. You can look it up on Google to correct me. But I'm pretty sure that's how fast it is. Experience a G force of 2.5. The slide, which was designed by Whitewater West Aquarina, relies on sliders achieving enough speed to make it around the loop. Okay, okay, they have to achieve enough speed to make it around the loop, and they have to wear, like, something. Like, look at this. That looks like a Coca-Cola bottle, like a one of those glass Coca-Cola bottles. They have to wear that on their back. However, not all sliders do. A woman. Okay, not, not, not all sliders do. Okay the park for $400,000 when she got stuck on the slide. She was unable to make the loop and found herself stuck at the bottom of the loop. She pulled herself out through an escape hatch, but she experienced several injuries. Nonetheless, the Aqua Loop continues to be a popular, albeit dangerous, slide at Wet n Wild. In nice. fact, the park itself is the busiest water park in Australia and the eighth busiest water park in the world. Thousands of sliders ride the dangerous aqua loop annually. I mean, that looks like a really fun water slide, so I think I'd do it. Number 8. The Black Hole. Ooh, shiver me timbers, it's the Black Hole. Wet and Wild, Orlando, Florida. The Black Hole water slide is an inline tube slide located at what is considered to be America's first water park. I doubt that. Wet n Wild Orlando is owned by NBC Universal and was founded by the creator of SeaWorld, George Millay. Then why are you making this dangerous water slide, George? Gay? I, I don't know. The menacing black tubes of the black hole look ominous, and rightfully so. The black hole has faced numerous lawsuits over the years, including a $1.73 million payout to a man who was severely injured in 1994 when he struck something during the ride. Part of the danger- 
Okay, that's like, that's pretty bad. The of the slide stems from the timing of the ride. It takes a two-person tube 23 seconds to complete the ride. However, the staff is told to send people down at 20-second intervals. Okay, so that's only a three-second time to get out of that small pool at the end? Sheesh. This does not leave enough time for people to safely exit the ride before the next riders are sent down, making it a dangerous sliding experience. Number 7. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water I've also heard this one, I'm pretty sure it's in like Toronto or something, I've heard it's dangerous. Park, Ontario. The Steamer Slide at Calypso Water Park, Ontario is a dangerous tube slide that has repeatedly injured its riders. In fact, in 2015, Calypso Water Park was facing 20 separate charges from injured people. Riders of the steamer slide sit on a tube, slide through a dark tunnel, and then spin around a bowl. However, when the slide was investigated, it was discovered that the steamer slide had developed a buckle in an area of the slide that was causing the tubes to flip over. The Technical Standards and Safety Act, which oversees Ontario's amusement park rides, accused the park of negligence, and of not having the proper equipment to ensure the safety of its riders. Okay, that is just insane. And although some of the charges were dismissed, the park was found guilty on six accounts. Six? Resulting in a payout of $500,000 in- Okay, $500,000 is actually a lot. If you get sued for $400,000 or like just over $100,000, that is a lot of money that you're getting. Damages. The sheer volume of injuries attests to the dangerous nature of the steamer slide. Number 6. The Vertigo Slide uh, 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 that, that looks really tall. <laughs> Quilandia Water Park, Spain. Yeah, that green one looks alright for me. The Vertigo Slide in Spain's Aqualandia Water Park is the highest water slide in Europe and the highest capsule slide. Yeah, I'd rather go on that green one. It's a uh, story, uh, story down, so. Slide in the world. The slide, which opened in the summer of 2013, took two and a half. Of course, I have to get So mad. I decided to check online and try and find out the best math life hack. So I, I just decided to check months online. Months to build and stands proudly at 110 feet. The vertigo slide is actually two slides, the red slide being the taller of the two. Sliders stand at the top of the slide on a trap door, which is opened by an operator who presses a button. Once the button is pressed, the trap door is released and sliders are plunged down a three second slide where they can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour. The ride itself and the speed the riders experience is dangerous. However, the I mean, trap- I mean, I mean, that looks dangerous door presents its own danger. Yeah, I've heard of this story before. I'm pretty sure I got stuck. In July 2014, the trap door failed to fully open, and a man was severely injured when he was sent through the partially opened trap door. The man- Oh, his... that, that sounds bad. Injuries were attended to by park staff, but the slide was reopened a mere 10 minutes after- Bro, that, that should at least be shut down for a week. ...for the incident. Needless to say, this dangerous slide made headlines in the news as a result. Number 5. Cannonball Falls Alright, if it has falls in its name, that seems kind of dangerous because it looks like there's like at least 5 foot drop for... Like, imagine if you belly flop or like back flop off of that. Action Park, New Jersey The actual Cannonball Falls water slide itself is not that dangerous. But at the end of the slide, sliders are sent on a 10-foot drop into the pool below. The fall of Cannonball Falls has resulted in countless injuries and was plagued with problems right from its opening. In fact, Cannonball Falls has the highest number of reported injuries of any water slide in the entire state of New Jersey. Sl I mean, no kidding. Sliders have reported shoulder, neck, and head injuries as a result of the 10-foot drop into the water. Yep, I said around 5 or 10 feet, that's what I thought The park was actually told to shut down the slide at one point, but despite numerous injuries, the slide remained open and sliders kept on sliding and kept on getting hurt. Cannonball That is just stupid, to keep it open whenever they tell you to shut it down. Falls is located at Action Park, New Jersey, which is notorious for its dangerous rides. 
It has been nicknamed Accident Park and Class Action Park due to the obscene number of reported injuries. Number 4. The Scorpion's Tail. Noah this one will be interesting. Noah's Ark Water Park, Wisconsin Dells. Noah's Ark's Water Park is a 70-acre water park with more than 50 attractions throughout the park. In fact, Noah's Ark is the largest water park in the United States. It is also home to one of the most dangerous slides in the world. The Scorp nice. Scorpion's Tail is a menacing water slide where sliders are sent on a harrowing ride, including a 55-foot drop, a 70-degree angle plunge, and a 60-degree angle loop. When the slide first opened in 2010, it was the only water slide in the world to have full loop-de-loop. -loop. I mean, it's 2010, I'm not surprised. And was the first upside-down looping body slide. Although it is not the fastest slide around, sliders do reach a speed of 30 miles per hour. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty fast. While on the 400 foot long slide, they also wait in a coffin like chamber at the start of the slide for the floor to fall out from under them. Trippy red style, you go die. And when they do get to the loop, they are 27 feet in the air. The scorpion's tail cost $1 million US to build. And despite its dangers, it remains a crowd favorite amongst water slide enthusiasts. That one looks insane. I know this water slide, it's the Leap of Faith. That looks insane, I wanna ride it. Number three, the Leap of Faith, Atlantis Water Park, Bahamas. The Leap of Faith is a beautifully constructed water slide that sits on a lovely Mayan themed temple. Nice head hammerhead. Huh? The Leap of Faith, though, despite its beautiful setting, has been called the scariest water slide in the world. The Leap of Faith. That does not look scary. I know there's sharks in that tank, but that does not look scary. In 1998, consists of a near vertical 60 foot drop. And as if the drop weren't dangerous enough, once the drop is complete, riders are sent through a lagoon of sharks. Sliders. Somewhat. Shiver me timbers. Safe inside a clear acrylic tunnel are sent whizzing through the lagoon, where sharks approach the tube. Some sharks are- And also you're going like at least- Literally- 20 or 10 miles an hour, so that's alright for me. Only inches away, the sharks, which are hammerhead and Caribbean reef sharks, swim you freely- know what? You know what I just thought? If they got like- way overboard and they went like right there they'd fall into like right on that into the pool of sharks uh the lagoon as sliders swiftly slide past praying that nothing goes wrong with acrylic tubing number two the verrocht schlitterbahn water park can i've actually heard of this so we'll just you'll just have to listen the city the verrocht which is german for crazy or insane was destined for fame when it opened on July 10th, 2014. It was the tallest water slide in the world at the time. The Verrat, at 168 feet, cost a staggering $3.6 million to build. And although, oh my God! although it did achieve fame as the tallest water slide in the world, it also achieved infamy, as an accident on the slide led to the criminal arrest of the park owner. A 10-year-old boy was killed on the slide when his raft went airborne. Investigations pointed to a number of unsafe aspects on the slide. The nets surrounding the slide were deemed unsafe. The restraints on the raft were deemed unsafe. And the ride should have had an unstop mechanism installed to prevent rafts from going airborne. All in all, the Verrucht was a dangerous slide that did not meet safety standards. It was shut down on August 7th, 2016. Number one. Okay, that already looks insane. The Cannonball Loop, Action Park, New Jersey. A park that is nicknamed Accident Park is sure to have more than one dangerous water slide. And although Cannonball Falls and its 10-foot drop is one of the most dangerous water slides on this list, Action Park is also home to the most dangerous water slide ever built. One look at the insane cannonball loop. I mean, that kind of looks more than 10 feet, but all right. And you can see why this water slide could pose several safety issues. 
Cannonball Loop, which was an enclosed water slide with a complete vertical loop at the end, has a set of disturbing stories surrounding it. Before the slide was officially opened, the owner of the park reportedly offered to pay employees $100 to try out the slide. The employees suffered nosebleeds and numerous injuries while sliding. Furthermore, when the park owner sent a dummy down the slide, the dummy apparently came out the other side without its head. However, despite these massive red flags, the slide was still opened. Shortly after its opening, though, a woman got stuck at the top of the loop, forcing the park to install an escape hatch should it happen again. Needless to say, the cannonball loop didn't last long. It was shut down by the advisory board on Carnival Amusement Park ride safety after only one month due to safety issues. Clearly one of the most dangerous water slides of all time, the Cannonball Loop has slid its way into the top spot on our list of top 10 dangerous water slides. Alright guys, that's going to be it for the video. Goodbye, have a good day. See you later. Bye.